Friendly greetings, it's Torley Linden, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to report a bug. <laughs> Just like you're seeing, it may be easier than you think it is, so let's get started. The first thing is at the bug tracker, you're going to need to log in and enter in the usual information. You're probably used to this from secondlife.com, various parts, and click log in, let it churn. We'll see that some of the stuff is different. What we are most concerned about here is create issue, which you can click or you can hit as a shortcut the C key on your keyboard to bring that up. There are a bunch of keyboard shortcuts. If you've used Gmail, you may be familiar with some of those, those conventions. Click here and keyboard shortcuts will show you a bunch and some of them are going to be more relevant later in your bug reporting journeys. But for now, let's hit C again and let's select a project for this fictitious hypothetical example. Note that it will remember recent projects that you have waded into and say it's a problem in the view or a bug that we've noticed. And for issue type, of course, we're going to select bug, which is the most common type of issue. Now let's create that and we're here on the create issue screen. All right, now let's get started. Now the first time you scroll down, you may be overwhelmed and intimidated. Don't worry about that. Just take a deep breath. We are all new once. I remember the first time I was reporting a bug. <laughs> I'll make it more comfortable for you here. The summary. Think of this like an email's subject line. You want someone at a glance to be able to understand what you're going to be going on about and the other people who will be looking, of course, fellow residents and Lindens. Like the saying goes, it's so cliche but true, help us help you. So this fictitious summary, something like, prims unexpectedly turn red when rotated. Okay, that gives us a brief, a good idea. And now the components. Note that only some fields are required, but the more information you have, think about a police report, the more substance you can go and provide is a great grounds for evidence. So let's see components in this one. You can just scroll down the list and see. But since this is in dealing with prims in world objects, we would say it's building here and effects version. Now I've got a tip for you. If you aren't sure what that is, you can go ahead and skip forward to environment to find it out. Let me show you how this works in Second Life. In the Second Life viewer, Go to the help menu and choose about Second Life. Look for the top line, that's the version, and click the copy to clipboard button so we can paste that into our bug report. We're back here, so let's choose a version, or in this case, the nearest one. I'm actually on test instance, but this is what you would really do. And then in environment, you just do control V to paste that in. Now, I should stress environment is really important because some bugs, they will reproduce. They will happen under certain conditions specific to certain graphics cards, certain hardware, but they wouldn't happen to other people. That's why it's really important for Linded Lab to be able to try to match that and other residents too, of course. This is really a collaborative community thing. So that's why that is so important, these specific technical details. There are so many configurations out there. Yes, we follow that helpfully. And now let's go to the meat of it, the description. A description can be likened to other things, other processes, series of steps you may already be familiar with. If you've ever given driving instructions, obviously they have to be in a, in a proper order from start to end and not leave any turns out or a recipe where you have to cook and you have to have all the ingredients. Again, help Lindens and help residents get to where you are. So in this fictitious example, it might look like this, so something like right click a prim and choose edit. And like some of those cooking shows, I'm going to fast forward and show you what this recipe looks like when it's baked. And here we have it, a simple but effective series of steps, also known as a solid reproduction that hopefully can help others to find out what's going on here. They can see it too on their screen. And note this part, like it says, observe. This is what you see and expect. This is what you intend to see. Or maybe, maybe if this is a regression, something broke, what was happening before, what you, what the fixed behavior should be. 
Precise terminology is valued, but hey, if you're not sure, give it your best shot. And now let's scroll down here and we get to attachment. This is really great if you find it awkward to describe stuff in words because hey, a picture is a thousand words or a video might be a million. <laughs> I've got more help about that elsewhere. Thus, let's click choose file and you may need to browse for it, but right here I have this example image to show you how it works. And I can double click that or click open. And then you can also attach multiple attachments should you have that need, but we don't here. So let us click create and the bug report will come through just like this. Congratulations, you are officially awesome. You have reported your first bug or maybe your second or third. <laughs> it's an ever growing experience. Let me tell you that. So here we can see all the information that we have entered. Go down to the bottom. There's our attachment. It's great to have visual communication. You can see how and why it matters. Someone can quickly look instead of you trying to describe things alone. Sometimes it opens up this light box style thing, easy to close and back up. Do you note some of the details here may be different, but a key one, if you have additional information, you can click edit or Hey, E for the shortcut key. And if you have a better repro or something, you can put that in and then just update that at the bottom. There is also comment which allows you to discuss other residents. Lindens may leave comments on your issue if they have questions to clarify what's going on or to confirm that they have seen it too, which is always reassuring. You could say, oh my gosh, comment like that and add that and the comments appear right here. So take your time, explore around and have fun as hard as that may have been to imagine before reporting bugs and helping to make Second Life more awesome.